everybody welcome back to weekend restoration i'm michael we got brian over there getting some tools um back in the shop with the needle nose um had a lot of views on the last video thank you guys for that i noticed a lot of you guys weren't subscribed so if you don't mind hitting that subscribe button and share this it's gonna be an awesome series a lot of the comments were about where this truck might be from with a few saying it might be a log truck and we started looking at it and thinking it was a grocery truck from Linden, California. It is a California West Coast truck. Last time it was on the road was 65. So that's quite a bit of time. Who knows the last time this thing was running, but that's what we're gonna try and get done today. We got a few things going on up front. We got our tank and we ran oil through it after we pulled the drain plugs out. There was some water in it. Um, we pulled the valve covers off. We're gonna dump some oil in there and get everything lubed up real nice. This thing is old enough that it doesn't have a spin on oil filter. It has like a cartridge style. We pulled this plug out. There, was, there wasn't a whole lot of water in it, but there was some. And whenever we ran all the oil through, we pumped it till the uh, clean oil came out of there. And we're still trying to figure out how this starter needs to be hooked up. Haven't really messed with this starter a whole lot. Or really seen too many of them. All right, we did pull the fan off so we don't lose any limbs here. But the crank does spin over. That's good news to us. And um, over here, we have a series parallel switch. Um, how does that work? Okay, a lot of these old trucks started on 24 volt and the main truck ran on 12 so that switch when you hit the starter that worked it just for the just for the starting circuit um, so I believe that's probably a 24 volt starter on this truck um, in our case it's not really going to matter we can hook it up and I think it's possibly a positive ground by the indications looking at the way this, the alternators wired and some of the other wires but the guy when they started taking this apart they've got all the wiring harnesses and everything off so there's if everything was connected you would have to hook it back up positive ground or you could short some your gauges and stuff but being there's no electrical connections other than what's on the engine itself we're going to hook it up positive ground or negative ground like it should be and uh that should get us in the vicinity and i'm almost positive it's 24 volt but if we get the 24 volts to it and it actually does work and it spins like crazy we'll know it's probably 12 volt uh, but what we'll probably do since we put the oil through the passages we'll hook a gauge up to where that was if we can get it to spin we'll get the compression release uh, opened up spin it see if we can get some oil pressure and uh, get some fuel to it and see if we can bring it back to life underneath filled it up with oil we got some battery cables hooked up just some batteries on the floor, a little push button. Uh, got our makeshift fuel tank over here. Got some lines hooked up. Got a new filter on there. Lines, we dumped, dumped some fuel down in there. Now we're gonna try and see if she'll crank over here. Ready? Ready. All right, see what happens. Hey. <laughs> a little rusty. Okay. We know it turns over, so now we've got to address the getting power to the fuel solenoid. All right, so as we assumed, this starter must be 24 volt. We have this hooked up as a 24 volt circuit. Over here, for our fuel solenoid, it is running off a 12 volt. So we got our makeshift deal going on here. Go ahead and hook up our power. Good sign, sounds like it's working. Give her a couple cranks here, see what happens. Try and get some oil pressure going. No oil pressure yet. We've got a lot of rust coming out of the exhaust pipe. All right, 
we got some vice grips on here holding this compression release out and we're gonna try and get some oil pressure now Shabby for 55 years and there's no run. Yeah, really. Ready when you are. Not quite. Almost. She's smoking. Uh, let's do that again. And when we get it cranking, work the throttle a little bit. Okay. I'll try not to blast you with Ready? Ready. Good. It's running on ether. The throttle wasn't doing anything. Yeah, well, I don't think it's, I don't think it's, got, it's smoking black, so. It's gotta be getting fuel. Yep. Good. Shooting sparks out of the exhaust. 55 years of build up carbon. Yeah. First start in 55 years, roughly. I'm pretty happy with that. I'm pretty, I'm pretty psyched myself, <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Nice. Well, we got her running. Did a little bit more snooping around here, checking everything out. We got this spring hanger that's broken. We'll have to try and find another one or find a way to fab something up there. Uh, we were looking at this door over here. Got it popped open. No door latch on it. And we found some damage here on the floor. Fixable. Uh, the transmission, we're messing around. and We think it is a five and a four. 
Not too sure yet. We're just trying to get some ideas of what we're up against here. So many different things we could do with this truck. Not sure what we're planning on doing just yet. So thank you guys for watching. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. And stay tuned for this awesome restoration. It's going to be a good one. See you guys next time.